big space, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely space, actually. Oh, it's already messy with my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they are a lot of lights. There's a lot of lights. And then you'll see that as you walk into it. Oh, am I, am I walking through? Oh, yeah, my yeah, goodness. This is a bit surreal. And then you see, if you look behind you, you see you're leaving, you're creating this trail of lights behind you. Oh, so as I walk, the lights are appearing behind me. Oh, so it like senses my movements. Yeah. Oh, wow. And then now that we've moved out of it again, you'll see that it'll sort of fade out and then it'll just come back to life and start doing something. Oh, now again. they're changing colours again. Yeah. It's really bright. Oh. <laughs> Makes your eyes go funny, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That looks incredible. They're really impressive. That was the first time I stepped inside the unused room at Waterside Shopping Centre as artist Anthony Rowe talked me through Squid Soup's exhibition. He told me the inspiration behind the Enlightenment creation. Well, this is part of a long series of works that um, are trying to create immersive experiences, so you're sort of completely sort of within it and surrounded by it. And so we're just <coughs> using computers to create these environments that just engulf you really. He described the reaction he hopes the lights will have on visitors. We've put on this piece or pieces similar to this a few times now, quite a few times, and generally I think the experience is one of, wow, what is that? And it's, it's quite a strong experience, you know, there's like eight, five, six thousand lights in there and they're all responding to you and to your presence and so it's quite a strong experience and, and people do tend to feel feel it and although it's computer controlled and so on it's not really a tech experience it's just it's lights. Iona Carter was one of the volunteers helping guide people around the attraction. It's a really interesting subject to look at with other artists because that might be us in the future so it's a really good way to get some experience and actually find out a little bit more about the artists themselves as well. I caught people as they left the exhibition to find out what they thought of the Enlightenment experience. Oh, it was beautiful, the lights, and you go in and out and they all change colour, and it was, it was magical, really. Um, and how did it make you feel? Oh, calm and uh, in a kind of another space. It's cool. I, I just want one. I'm amazed by the way it works. However it works, I don't know, but I want to know. <laughs> but it's cool. I love it. Well, obviously, I saw all the lights. I was a bit sort of confused how it worked, why they lit up while I'm moving through it, but it's quite calming. I found it quite a calming and, yeah, fun. I want some in my house. Well, really, I see a lot of lights, but yeah, they was clever, the way that they react to your body. You know, the little lad here, he thought it was brilliant. <laughs>